So Donald Trump is having a hard time finding defense attorneys who are willing to represent him in his upcoming Senate impeachment trial. Why? Well, because it looks like he wants to mount something that I call the rocket to Mars defense. I've seen it in court before, folks. And the rocket to Mars defense rarely turns out well for a defendant at trial. Why? Because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So Donald Trump is having a really rough time finding defense attorneys who are willing to walk into the Senate impeachment trial and represent him. Why? Because Donald Trump is trying to offer what I would call an unrealistic, absurd, and false defense. He wants attorneys who will go into court and argue that Basically, he's still the legitimate president because the election was stolen from him, right? It was a fraudulent election. It was a rigged election. This is what I call the rocket to Mars defense. And in my 30 years prosecuting cases, I saw every variation of the rocket to Mars defense. A defendant would want to offer some wild, absurd defense to the crimes charged against him, like I have an alibi. I couldn't have committed the crime because I was on a rocket to Mars. I was vacationing on the planet Mars at the time, so I could not have committed the crime with which I am charged. The rocket to Mars defense. That's what Donald Trump wants defense attorneys to go into the Senate trial and argue. It's Donald Trump's rocket to Mars defense. I'm still president because the election was stolen from me. It was rigged, it was fraudulent. So here's the thing. There are lots of differences between criminal trials and Senate impeachment trials. For example, criminal trials have very well-established, rigid even, rules of procedure, rules of evidence, rules of protocol. Senate trials, not so much. It's kind of a no-holds-barred political party that, um, that these senators engage in. It's a purely and exclusively political proceeding. So there are no rules of evidence. There are no rules of procedure other than like the makeshift rules that are made up by the senators themselves. Um, but here is where there's an important similarity between a criminal case and trial and an impeachment trial in the Senate. The attorneys who appear in those different kinds of cases are still bound by the rules of ethics, are still bound by the rules of professional responsibility. So if Donald Trump's defense team went in and presented a rocket to Mars defense that Donald Trump is still president because the election was stolen from him, they would be referred to bar counsel, they would be sanctioned, they would perhaps be disbarred. Now. Donald Trump has apparently found some defense attorneys who are willing to represent him, a guy named David Schoen, who is somebody who's, you know, been involved in providing legal advice to guys like Roger Stone and Jeffrey Epstein, and another guy, Bruce Castor, who apparently is a former district attorney in Pennsylvania who declined to charge Bill Cosby. Um, so these guys are going to go in and they're going to represent Donald Trump. And, it's being reported that they're going to mount a largely constitutional defense, not Donald Trump's preferred rocket to Mars defense, but they're going to argue that it's not constitutional to have a Senate impeachment trial for somebody who's no longer in office. Well, that's wrong because we've done it before, albeit back in the 1800s. We did it with the Secretary of War. His name was Belknap. He was impeached by the House, he resigned, and then he was tried by the Senate in an impeachment trial. So the attorneys and the politicians who are saying this is an unconstitutional procedure are just dead wrong. But folks, here's the other thing. It doesn't matter 
who Donald Trump's defense attorneys are because he's got some 40 or 45 defense attorneys sitting on the jury. The Republican senators who are prepared to defend him to the death and you know, regardless of what the evidence shows of how Donald Trump organized, encouraged, and yes, incited an insurrectionist attack on the U.S. Capitol to try to stop Joe Biden from being certified as our next president, no matter what the evidence shows, those Republican senators are prepared to defend the president and vote not guilty, acquit him. So frankly, the defense attorneys are superfluous to this whole process. It doesn't matter what kind of a defense they mount. But at least it looks like they are unwilling to mount Donald Trump's preferred rocket to Mars defense, that he's still really the president because the election was stolen, it was rigged, it was fraudulent. Maybe that's something. As always, folks, uh, I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow. Please stay safe. Please stay tuned. And we will see what news breaks on the Donald Trump impeachment trial front today and tomorrow. And folks, as always, thank you for tuning in to these daily videos. If you'd like to more formally support our all-volunteer efforts here, our content, you can go over to patreon.com. You can sign up to become a patron. And if you do, I'll send you some Team Justice stickers and a personal handwritten note of thanks. You can also find me over on Facebook, Justice Matters with Glenn Kirshner, and of course on Twitter all day and night, trying to answer your legal questions as best I can. On Twitter, it's at Glenn Kirshner too. All right, folks, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I'm sure we'll have lots of additional developments on the Donald Trump impeachment trial front and whether we will be hearing about Donald Trump's rocket to Mars defense. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow, folks. Thank you.